Hi folks, this is video number three on the netted necklace. I'm adding a bottom row. And I had to experiment a little bit before I decided I liked it. So I'm going to turn the necklace over and start over here. Or actually keep going to show you how I added the... The, the beads on the third row and I believe there's going to be a fourth row with some teardrop crystals if they match what I've got going on here if not this could be the end and you'll see the finished product when I'm done so let's uh, turn this over and finish the third row so you can see how I've been doing it quite simple um, we're gonna work our way to this end but I'm gonna show you first how I did it I remember at the last video I ended up down here I went through the crystal bead and I added a gold bead three silver beads a crystal three silver beads and a gold bead and went through the next crystal and I did that all the way across and alternated crystal pearl crystal pearl and this one's going to be a crystal going on and it's quite simple all I did like I said hopefully you can see what I'm doing here I'm going to kind of bring it up here a little bit. Sorry about the bouncing, folks. I added a gold bead, three seed beads, my crystal or the pearl, whichever place I'm at, three silver beads, and a gold bead and it looks like that and then I quite simply just go through the bottom of this next crystal and then I'm ready to start the next row I'm trying to do this looking at the video which is not a good idea because I'm it blinds me apparently can't see what I'm doing oh come on now I know there's a hole in that crystal all right Maybe if I add a little light why I don't like doing live videos because you run into a problem you can't stop it and start it again for some reason so you've got to let the people see your mistakes all right and you just simply go through that next crystal and you draw it close or closed I should say and of course I'm gonna try to get a knot for you guys in here there we go and it closes off that triangle because I didn't really want to make another large triangle like this so I'm cutting off the triangle and the next row that I make it's possible I'll be going through this crystal and this pearl and putting a drop like a like a pear shaped drop crystal I haven't decided yet but that's the the good thing about these netted necklaces you can design them the way you want I started with the design like the pattern and I'm ending up with my own design we're gonna see how it comes out sorry if I'm not in focus here 
got to actually look at the beads instead of the video and it's hard but anyway once again we've gone through that bottom crystal so we're going to add a gold bead three silver beads this time it's going to be a pearl because last time we added a crystal so this time will be a pearl three more silver beads and a gold bead and this is what you have on your needle then you're gonna simply I say simply but you're going to connect to the next crystal at the bottom hard parts finding the hole but this whole necklace it's the hard part is finding the hole of the clear beads that you add or the crystals it's not as easy as it looks to find the hole without getting off the camera here so you can see what I'm doing There we go. Just through the bottom of the crystal and you pull your thread tight. Try not to get a knot. And you've closed off that bottom triangle. And we're going to finish it all the way across and we're going to stop by coming out of this bottom crystal and this project will probably be tomorrow of how I'm going to attach the third row. I haven't decided yet whether I'm just going to do a third row with crystals and pearls again or if I'm going to do a third row and that's going to be the end of my rows and I'm going to finish it off with possibly a beautiful pear-shaped crystal if I have enough of them. If I don't then I'm just going to finish off this triangle with something simple again like I did here to finish the necklace so it's not an open piece and then I'll do some half hitch knots somewhere along here to tighten it up and I'm going to call it hunkering it down so it doesn't come loose put your ends on and you have your necklace Thanks for watching again. I don't know if I'm getting better or getting worse with my videos. At least they're not as long. Uh, I apologize if I repeat myself because I can't remember what I've said. When you're doing live video, you don't know if you've said it or you haven't said it. Um, if you have any suggestions for me doing a video, I would appreciate because... I'm going to try to do some more videos to show you how I do other beautiful necklaces. But um, this is it for now, folks. And number four is coming tomorrow afternoon. Thank you for watching.